Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Woodshop. Welcome back to my channel. If you follow along on Instagram, since I've been absent from YouTube for a little bit, I have been very active on Instagram, and the latest thing I've gotten into is t-shirt and clothing making, uh, particularly pressing, like designs on a t-shirt. So in this video, we have a press of three different types. So HTV Rant sent over their presses for me to use with my new pro-colored DTF printer. If you haven't followed along, check out my Instagram. You can see what I've done in the past. So I got the DTF printer after I filmed this video. So this is not showing it with the printer. We'll get to that in the DTF uh, Pro Color printer video. Follow along in the future for that. So Deacon just unboxed the press and this is the electronics part to it. It is a separate piece that connects via USB because everything in the world that's good has a USB in it, right? This is the main control that houses the temperature and time and the power button to turn it on. So we're gonna flip this around and you can see the back of it. We only have two things to plug in. We have the main power on the left and the USB cord on the right. Deacon's plugging in the USB. It's a regular USB-A, very simple to plug in. Anybody can do it. You're very familiar with that. That gives us our control and then now you can see I'm holding the power. Power only uses 110 volt in North America, and I have it on a 12 amp circuit um, or a cord, 12 amp cord reel. And it's on a circuit with many other things, and it works perfectly fine. So you don't need a ton of power. You can use this in a regular room of a house if you wanted. Um, the left dial here controls the heat temperature, the right dial controls the uh, time temperature, and the bottom is just on and off. And here I am pushing a whole lot of buttons because I didn't read the manual and didn't know what they did. Bottom button will only turn on and off. Left will do the temperature, you push and hold that in. Right will do time, you push and hold that in. There, you've learned something. Um, time and temperature, every material needs a little bit something different. And that really is the only way to learn, just like a laser with speeds and feeds, is to try it on different materials and you'll dial it in. You can see you swing up the handle and it'll swing um, almost 360 on this. Uh, so it swings away from the material to give you full range. This is a manual heat press, so it does add this dial on the top to add more or less pressure. I did not get the automated heat press. I got the manual one because you have a little bit more control. Here's a t-shirt that we had in the shop because we just did football this morning. And we're gonna pre-press this shirt. We're just gonna knock out all the moisture and any wrinkles in it has. So you notice Deacon swung it around. Push and hold. It's really not that hard to push as an adult, but it gives a good amount of pressure. And then you push the buttons to set your time and temperature. Don't watch what I did. I didn't do it right on camera. Uh, but once you're done and you heat it up, you just pull it up, you swing it around, and pull your shirt off. Easy peasy. There's nothing to pressing shirts. Before I did any of this, I was intimidated by the printer itself and the pressing. And then once you do it once, you're like, wow, that was a joke. Anyway, that's the HTV 15 by 15 manual heat press. And now we're going into hat pressing. If you're in the South like me, custom hats are all the rage. So this is the heat press for a hat. What makes the difference here is that it's a curved surface. I have used this on things other than a hat since I filmed this. One was backpacks because backpacks have weird pockets and zippers and all that stuff in the way. So I used this instead of the press because the press just couldn't give it the right amount of pressure without melting zippers and stuff. So on this is a pretty cool unit. It comes in two uh, bags. One is the unit itself with a base and a top. You can see the base is gray, the top is clear and then Deacon's unwinding the wires for the manual press, or the heat press, hat press itself. And then I just unboxed the baggie that everything gets stored in and this like cloth-like weird hat. Um, that actually goes on to top of the clear lid to make a place where a hat will actually go against. So you can see that's what Deacon's holding right now, the lid and there's the base and he doesn't know what he's doing, but I'll show you what, he, what we need to do. You can see that the heat press stores within itself, which is really nice. Uh, this is great for an apartment. If you have no room, it doesn't take up much room, but the heat press just wraps around itself. You put the lid on it just like that. You clip the little edges and you're packed away all nice and tidy. Put this little hat thing on top. That's how it stores. Put it in a bag, put it in your closet. You're done for use. Of course, make sure it's cool before you do that. 
but we get no dust or grime on it this way. Really nice packaging, really nice, uh, tight, clean usability on this thing. So if you wanna take a look at the heat press itself, it's got one button on the top, that's for power, that turns it on and off. The next one is setting between time and temperature, and the bottom is more time, or more temperature, or less time and less temperature. That's really all there is to it. Um, in order to actually activate the time, you push and hold the power button for longer than two seconds, and it will start the timer. Tapping the power button will turn it on and off. It's got a really readable, clear um, LCD. So right now you can see it was at 120 degrees, beautiful. Let's go ahead and mimic like what I would do to a hat. So you put that on top, uh, put the hat on top of there, and then you would just manually press, pushing in. And it gives a really nice soft cushion behind it, and it gives a nice curved surface to rub against. This thing is basically an iron that's curved. That's all there is to it. So if you can use an iron, and I haven't used that many in the past, but if you can use an iron, you can use the seat press and you can make custom patches. And it even makes a cool hat that Deacon really wanted to show you. All right, final thing they sent over, this is the HTV Ron Auto Tumbler Press. You can do tumblers and mugs with this press. Um, this is more for sublimation, but of course, I have tried it with my DTF printer. It does work. Uh, it doesn't work great where you can run it through a dishwasher. It'd be hand wash only if you're asking me. Let's see what gets, we get in the box. We get a pair of gloves that I tried on myself afterwards and it will not fit a pair of man hands. They are definitely made for women or little kids. It also came with some heat tape. That heat tape there will not melt when it's in a press and it will keep things organized. This is an all-in-one unit. There's nothing to it. This is the simplest thing of the whole thing. You unbox it and you're done. That's literally it. Unbox it and plug it in. Uh, there's not much to say about this unit because it's so simple. And that's what I love about HTV Rot. That is what they've done. They've simplified the pressing. So once you're plugged in, you just push the power button on. That turns it on. Top left is heat. Bottom left is temperature. Top right is plus and minus are the increase and decrease. And then the R button is turn it on. And you can see it's counting down here. Uh, of course, I just put something in just to test it. And it automatically applies the right amount of pressure around your whole tumbler. So you saw he just pulled the tumbler out. The only thing is that we're limited to size. It's generally narrow tumblers and narrow mugs that are made for this auto tumbler press. If you can see it crushes it on the inside and then once it does the proper amount of time, we're at 52 seconds. Maybe I cut away here, maybe I don't. <laughs> and Deacon's taking a look on the side. Um, it will pull itself back and then you pull it out. Now what I've seen everybody do online is um, rotate it 100, or rotate it 90 degrees to give more even pressure all the way around. If you push that R button like I just did, it will cancel the press either way. So you can see you pull it out the side and that's the heat press. Um, one thing we did try is a mug with a handle and that's what the slit on the top is for. You could slip a normal size mug in there. This is just a run of the mill coffee mug and you could go ahead and put your design on a heat press. And when you push the button, it will take that handle into account and still press around the rest of the mug, which is fantastic if you're doing mugs. Mugs are a good seller. So that's it. It basically just presses your tumblers and mugs. Just be careful you get the right size tumbler or mug to fit in there. And you can make your own custom shirts, hats, and mugs. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, check out the links down below. I am gonna be doing much more t-shirt making and uh, custom apparel making in the future. Check out my Instagram, you can see that every day. I basically post at least weekly, if not daily. And we'll be back for more. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.